Oh, do come on. You make us late for everything. Ich kann aber gewartet. How many times do I have to tell you? We speak English here. And I'm not taking any of your moods today, young lady. Why do I have to do this on a Sunday? Why? Why? Because if you and Daisy don't get picked to play in this duet, her mother and I are going to die of embarrassment. And by the way, I won't be able to take you to the Gymkhana on Saturday. You can ask your father, though he's probably playing golf. Maybe you can go with, what's her name? Speaking of your father, he was very disappointed with your math result. We're going to have to get your private tutor, you know. Although I'm not sure it's actually going to help with a brain like yours. How can a girl like you, with parents like us, turn out so useless? It's completely beyond me. I often did wonder if you got swapped at that maternity ward. Um, in my bag, memo pad. Memo pad. Oh, yes! We're going to Portofino the week after the next. I'm going to have to ask Rolf to come back from university to babysit you. I bet he'll be thrilled about that. Come on in, I've got one on the go. <laughs> now then, you two, you've got lots to be getting on with, so no mucking about. Yes, we want to hear some actual noise coming from that piano, not just chatter. Oh, I don't know why we waste our breath. Don't. So, darling, is Claudia doing any better at school? She's no Rolf. Mm. I mean, he was just blessed with far more natural talent. He knew how to work. Thomas thinks she'll be lucky to scrape any decent exam result, let alone get into university. <laughs> I know I shouldn't really say this, but I'll be quite happy when the little mix is out of our hands and I'm finally free. Oh, that is a terrible thing to say. I know. I feel exactly the same. <laughs> Climby, that's the happiest I think I've seen Mother since they opened Harrods early for her on the first day of sales. Girls, get on with your practice. Don't make me come up there. OK, Mum, just talking about what we're going to play. I know, it's different with Daisy. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure. I mean, she's not stupid, but she lacks application. Peter's always saying to her that she will never get a job at his law firm unless she gets top grades. <laughs> yes, it's funny, but I don't remember being half as much trouble when I was her age. Shh. That should keep him quiet for a bit. That's brilliant. So, your dad's still asking you about maths? Of course. Oh, Mum wants to send me to Beijing to learn Mandarin. Oh, are you still desperate to be a lawyer? Oh, yeah. Ugh, to be honest, I'd much rather be a cleaner or a traffic warden. In fact, I might just do that to annoy them. 
You can just cover their car with loads of parking tickets. Anyway, we'll probably have no jobs at all. I saw this thing on the internet the other day about young people basically having no chance whatsoever of being able to afford a flat or get a job or do anything. Really? Mm-hmm. And you know what it also said? That the older generation were to blame. You mean like our parents? Exactly like our parents. Adults in general. They're just out there to get everything for themselves. Mm. And the economy is a mess. And then they'll want big fat pensions and health care. And they'll probably live on to be 150. <laughs> and we'll be the ones who'll have to pay for it. Oh, I wish I could just leave them. Can't you divorce your parents in some countries? <laughs> <laughs> Why should we go anywhere? Maybe we just could send them away. All of them. Together. What do you mean? Once they reach a certain age. What? Like 30? Oh no. 40 is the new 30. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's agree on everyone over 40. So. What's the plan? <laughs> All the oldies are put together on one place. Then they will be sent off on special cruise ships. What? Like a holiday? Not exactly. Well, for how long? Forever. You see, it's their new home. They just sail around and around. And they're never allowed off again? Never. And they have to do all the things they make us do. Like stupid karate, singing lessons, and everyone has to learn Mandarin. That's brilliant. But who would pay for it all? Everyone would take their money with them. It all goes in a big pot. It will be much fairer that way. Yeah, so then everyone would be in the same boat. Get it? Not really. Never mind. Gosh, everyone being equal, our mothers would hate that. <laughs> and the ship will run on solar power. And you can recycle almost everything. Yeah, even the people. Once they die, you can just chuck them overboard as fish food. Exactly. Claudia, you're a genius. I bet you'd win the Nobel Prize for this. We would both get it. And then we'll make fabulous holiday. With the prize money. Come on, Claudia, it's time to go. But where? On a cruise, maybe. <laughs> Mum, uh, how old are you? Tell the truth. Let's just say we're a little over 40. Why? Great. Miss Schmidt, do you get seasick? <laughs>